today's mobility training tip, I'll be covering some neck isometrics that you can use to create a stable structure for your head and also work on the alignment of how our head should be positioned in space. Now it sounds kind of weird, like why do we need to do that? One, a lot of sports are prone for concussions. So you need to build this musculature up so that you're solid. I obviously got into this because I'm, I'm a grappler, so my head's always getting in places where people are trying to knock it, you know, they're trying to compromise my posture. And I've learned that I gotta learn how to keep a solid structure here to keep my center of gravity so I can destroy their posture. But also in everyday life, it's uh you see, I've become very aware of how people when they're on their phone, their their neck's going forward and they're just their whole the rest of the system is getting out of whack based on just their head positioning. So we can maybe shore that up, then we can begin to unravel some of the other things going on in the body. So a very simple one. You can do this as soon as you get out of bed in the morning or whenever. You lay flat on the ground, stretched out long, you tuck your chin. Now why do we tuck our chin? That lengthens the back of our neck. We don't want a crunched up back of the neck, okay? It's going to lead, uh, not allow our sinus cavities to open up. It's also not going to allow lymphatic fluid to flow around. So, tuck your chin, relax the rest of your body. All you're going to do is push the back of your head into the ground, creating an isometric for your neck. You're going to feel it engage all around. And you'll also probably feel the area between your shoulder blades begin to lift up off the ground. Keep pushing. I like to do about a 10 second hold, then relax. Take about three long, slow, deep breaths. And for the sake of the video, I'll go again. You notice chin's tucked. I'm pushing down. And while I'm pushing, I'm generating this tension. I'm still breathing calmly as always. It's the only way that we can really fully get something to download in our body and for our body to be like, wow, we want that to happen is if we approach it with a relaxed breath. If you do something with a stress reaction, your body's going to see that activity as something to be fearful of. If you're fearful of an activity, your body's not going to want to conduct that posture. So when you're doing any of this type of work, try to be on a five second in count, five second out count, like pause the bottom. Apply that, especially for my grapplers out there, that's going to be huge. Just you know, helping you integrate and create a strong neck. And for everyday life, you know, if you get, I've had had a little bit of a uh, neck issue earlier in the year. It's still kind of lingering into the shoulder. And doing these early in the day just kind of helps create some stability and gives you honestly some peace of mind knowing that okay, even if I am a little maybe compromised in that area of my body, I got everything engaged around it. That's going to protect it. And when you have this kind of like cast. Now, granted, you still need to stretch and mobilize your neck like we do with the circles, but hitting both ends of the spectrum is going to really protect you and have you ready to perform your best, be more vital, have more movement autonomy, all the things that I always touch upon. Please, guys, really, if you like the channel, I'm giving my heart and soul to this. This is what I'm about. This is my life's work. Connect below. Got a free ebook there for you. And uh, the support would mean a lot. Thank you.